Alright guys, it's a Kemini Ekbo here, Mr. Coco Hands, and in this one I'm just going to show you how to use Qtext to check for plagiarism in your contents. For now, I choose to use Qtext because I have, you know, compared them with other platforms, other programs and apps, come to see that um, Qtext um, works uh, beautiful and uh, much, much better than some of these other platforms, even better than Copyscape. Yeah, Qtex is uh, simply um, a premium plagiarism checker. You pay 9.9 .9 US dollars to subscribe for it for a month, and um, I tell you, for the short time I've been using it, it's it's really cool. Now, when you log in into the platform, um, you come, uh, you will see this um, interface. This interface will pop up. This is where you put your text. So you can either copy your texts and paste it here, or you upload it. Uh, you upload the file, you know, doc the document from wherever you save it to your system. Um, I can choose to upload the file. I go to, I go to where I, where I place the file. Here is it, and then upload it. Okay. Then I just click on. Of course, you need to leave this checked as deep search on. Then I just click on check plagiarism and then allow um, the system to do its work. Just give it a, a small time, we will start uh, checking. Okay, we will start checking. Yeah, so there is a, there it is. It's checking. You can see the percentage of checks um, is actually showing three percent. So you give it some time, it will check the whole uh, content for plagiarism, and then it will give you a report. So I'm gonna pause this video here now, and um, come back once it's finished checking the content. Okay, so we resume. I told you I'm gonna pause the video and then come back once it's done so the system the Qtex has finished checking the files um, for plagiarism and uh, as you can see um, this is the report so the right to so to the right hand flank of the page you will see um, you know links to sites where the articles for probably must have originated from and um, when you click here, when you come up here, you will see these uh, articles that are underlined. The ones that are actually in red um, underlined are actually exact, you know, copies from. Uh, that is, they have a high percentage of plagiarism from the parent site. If you want to confirm, just click on it, and then the results will come out, and it will take you to exactly to the exact uh, uh, you know site page on the site where the article was gotten from and you, and you can see this home based product production is well is a uh, very popular in Europe but it doesn't work here in Nigeria and it's the same thing you find here on this site this home based production is very popular in, in Europe but it doesn't work here in Nigeria but this one that actually um with yellow underlines are something you know Similar, but perhaps the person had, you know, in interchanged words or intru introduced a word or so just to make it look as if it's different, but it's not. So you check it out, you see. Now, same thing here and same thing here. And it will take you to the to the sites where the thing where where the thing was from. You know, the sites that the original sites on the internet. So with this technology, we can check any plagiarism you know so what you do is uh, you get to the content since you have now seen where the plagiarism is you go there and then you rewrite that content you rewrite the content where you have the plagiarism and then come back again and check it to see if uh, there are still plagiarism or if there are still plagiarized content in your work and there is a percentage score here which will show you how far the, the the level of percentage of plagiarism in your work the higher this percentage the higher the chances of plagiarism in your work and then you can use these navigation buttons to actually move around 
uh, each of the plagiarism, each of the plagiarized contents to make changes in the work. So that's basically what it is. Uh, and then there is a report section here where you can download uh, a report where you can download um, this um, uh, analysis in a report. If I click here, um, this report will come up in a PDF format and then I'll download it. It will open it like this. Okay, it will download to it will download to to the system. So with that report, you can use it to now compare the original articles and then make the changes edited um, you know, properly. So I will just open this. I will just open this PDF. Um, just open this PDF now. It's actually loading. I'll give it some time. Okay, so that is it. Um, with this now, you can you can now compare. You can just open your Microsoft the article, you know, to one side of the screen. You can minimize this. You can just keep this like this. And now compare, put them in pari puzzle, put them side by side, and now check, you know, now check and compare what you have here, what you have here to now be able to make the changes, you know. So, guys, um, that's been it on uh, how to use QText to check plagiarism in your work. I believe the tutorial has been very simple and straight to the point. Just watch it again and if you have any comments you can contact me or drop your comments below the video and uh, i'll put you through the more so it's a coming april here thanks for watching have a great great day bye bye